Hey there. So today I want to talk about the difference in beliefs and ideas. And before I get going, if you like this content, if you're enjoying it, maybe leave me a like and a comment, share it with a friend, all that stuff. You know, any of that engagement really helps get the algorithm to show it to more people, and I, I'd appreciate the help. So there's a great scene in the movie called Dogma that Kevin Smith made where Chris Rock, who's an angel, is talking to this woman, and, and he's basically saying something to the effect of, the thing that pisses God off most is that humans took a good idea and turned it into a belief system. And she stops and goes, but, but beliefs are bad? And he says, no, but ideas are better. People will get real busy killing and dying protecting a belief, but an idea can be changed by a better idea. And I remember when I saw that, it was profound. And I had to start asking myself, like, do I have beliefs or do I have ideas? And what are my beliefs? And would it be better to just have ideas? And a lot of times beliefs are formed without even them really being a conscious, it's not really a conscious thing. It just sort of happens and it slides into my operating system. And I don't even really know it's there, but my actions get based on it. And I get irritated by things that, that grind up against a sort of an unexamined belief. And so I've been working really hard for a really long time to try and just have ideas. And that doesn't always work. A lot of ideas become beliefs and, you know, is what it is. But I'm constantly trying to examine what my beliefs are and what my ideas are and looking for new ideas and way to expand my ideas and even expand my beliefs. I just don't want to get too locked into any of it because it causes friction. I get angry about things and I don't even know why and it's because something about it is irritating my beliefs. It's real easy to start superimposing my beliefs and, and even my ideas and, and make conclusions about new information that's coming in especially if it scares me or it's unfamiliar. And there can be a lot of suffering where that happens, where the new information comes in and it flies in the face of what I believe and what I think, and especially if there's any old trauma associated with those beliefs. It can just make life really difficult. And I want to always be kind of looking for that stuff. What are my ideas about what's going on in different areas of my life? And, and might I find a way to have better ideas, better ways to function? Anyway, it's just something I've been thinking about. I hope your day is going better than you think it is. I'll talk to you soon.